Yes, welcome to my new Let's Play vs. Acorns, but you might close up. Alright, now, uh, as far as side-scrolling fighters go, this one's especially good. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game here. So we can do a co-op play with Friendly Fire off or on. Thank God, because... Friendly Fireworks for some games. This is not one of those games that works for us. So thank God we have the option to turn it off. I can play hard mode, normal mode. But we're just going to be doing a single player run and... Um, yeah, let's just get this underway. Let's play River City Girls. Of course, I'm going to be my girl Kyoko. Detention. Tell. That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been kidnapped! Oh, Ricky, I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? Here lies Misako, killed by numbers. <laughs> Defeat the other students to break the screen lock and get out of the glass! And... Here's the, um, I guess, tutorial for attacking, but... Your principal, looks like we've got some troublemakers in detention. You kids know what to do. Yeah, you know what to do, i.e. signal the other students to beat the shit out of the troublemakers. Okay, so I guess this is cool here. Sometimes an enemy is after being attacked repeatedly. Walk into them and grab the enemy rather than by pressing... I guess X and Y. I press them both simultaneously and then grab them. There is actually something about that that we'll get into. Uh, I guess hopefully here I can be able to show this off. This can only work with um, one enemy standing. Alright, come on. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, there we go! Okay. You can gain recruits. Pressing LP. At least... In my case, because I'm playing the Xbox version. You can gain recruits. This only works when there's one enemy we're standing. Also, you can punch this guy. I already got the achievement for it, but there is an achievement for this. By punching the teacher. Your lessons are boring, is what it's called. <laughs> but, I don't know. So what's the plan? Break out of school. Find our boyfriends and beat the life out of whoever took them. Good plan. Thanks. I just came up with it. <laughs> Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako. Oh yeah, that's quite a smart plan. Beat the shit out of anyone who is a kidnapper. Yeah, that really takes a lot of force I to think of. <laughs> oh my god, I swear these girls are ditzky. Alright, so what I'm doing here is picking up a weapon. Pretty much anything that you can pick up can be used as a weapon, such as Taking out trash with trash. Okay, so that's just telling us there are some areas that we can't get to right away. So we're gonna wanna come back here at a later time. Also, if you linger on an area long enough, I've taken out all the enemies, they will spawn in with more. 
Which also gets me to say here. Notice each of them have unique names, despite them being of the same class. Come on, there we go. If you guard at just the right time, you can parry the enemy and stun them. It's tricky to pull off as you have to guard at just the right time in order to parry them. <laughs> oh my god, the principal. Here's what you can expect for lunch. By the way, why are we gonna destroy those girls? I swear, like, the principal sounds like he'd be a villain of sorts. Okay. Um, I managed to um, recruit her after she was begging for mercy and I was still pounding her into the ground. Who took Konyo and Ricky? I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text? <laughs> oh, yeah! <coughs> it says, uh... <laughs> blocked caller. Huh, that's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just based on the dialogue alone, I guess... I you can figure why I love this game. Just Black Collar. Do you know this guy named Black Collar? Probably, um, probably someone who uses a disposable phone with a disposable number. Anyway, this right here, Sabu Sakis. These are well, gonna be our side goal, I guess you could say. They're 25 and all. I'm gonna be going after all 25 of them. This is, for the most part, gonna be 100% playthrough. Except, can it not? Because, holy hell, one of the requirements for actually getting 100%, that's kinda nuts. But I did that in my own time. And we'll be getting that, did that oh, for a bit look, later. It's those girls. <laughs> I thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako! Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking! And I'm ditching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like, every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls. Haven't seen them, but we'll, like, so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. <laughs> uh, beat up more people just because, um... Okay, honestly, it doesn't seem like Those we're necessarily nice. good guys. Yeah, but they're crazy. <clears throat> Oh? <clears throat> they think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. I'll be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! <laughs> broken brains. Yeah, I, I can kind of believe that. Okay. The cheerleaders are especially good for grinding up money, as you can see there. I believe the blue bills are like five dollars but you know what we're gonna recruit one each class actually has a different ability which i'll be showing up here but beyond these doors holy hell this is my favorite thing in the game just listen Timmy. Unity stands for punching until bricks explode right towards you. Wow. Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Oh, gee, who's that? A bobo. Glad to meet you, Timmy. You're so huge. All thanks to puberty. With enough effort, you can get as big as me. 
Oh, that's got that's gotta be the best thing in the game, just hands down. What is puberty? Punking until bricks explode right towards you. <laughs> the fact that they have that as their explanation of what puberty is is amazing. Also, epic foreshadowing there, Abobo. <laughs> oh, whatever. Which way are we headed? Downstairs. We'll exit through the front. Great plan. I just hope Miss Suzu's not here today. Oh, jeez, what if she is? You're gonna let a 300-pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No. <laughs> oh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Now, one thing I don't like is how potentially uh, tutorials can pop up during dialogue. That could be yeah, especially annoying. Also, you can size set by up by double tapping up and double tapping down, which can be pretty useful. Alright, we'll have the chiller take out the dude. Or not. I confused the chick with the dude. Oh, uh, uh, that is actually bad. Uh, I am so sorry. Okay, so right here. We have a uh, phone that's actually pretty cute. It's got some pretty nice stickers on it. And it's a little bear design. It's really cute. So this right here, this will show the layout of the area that we're currently in. Areas we've been to, areas we haven't been to, and well, the area we're currently in. There's also our status display screen showing exactly what items we have. We have none. Our stats at the moment or our current level. All that good stuff. But I wanted to come here. The recruits menu. This will showcase exactly who you have recruited and who you haven't. There are six slots and a good chunk of these. We have Chara, which I think we have with us. I better remember not to piss her off, because otherwise she might attack me during her genocide round. Okay, no, okay, okay. Okay, no. But I do like this, how we have different enemies within the same enemy. <laughs> we have different enemies with each different names within the same enemy class. That is a really neat detail, and that's a lot of customization. Then I wasn't planning on talking about this, but we do have accessories. Masako, I believe, starts with the um, brass knuckle, I think it was. Yeti! Meanwhile, because I chose uh, Kyoko, I start with the virtual pet, which gives us... Okay, Nona's Overcrew has three hearts. Equip the virtual pet, and she has four. Of course, she'll still have three by virtue of already being with us. So we equipped it. Welcome, students. But whatever. Today, we're going to learn uh, why did I come back in here? <laughs> I'm supposed to go downstairs, not go back into the puberty room. Today is school spirit day. <laughs> Show your school spirit by destroying those girls. Yeah, that's an overreaction if I ever heard one just for breaking out of school. Show your spirit by destroying those girls! Also... <laughs> oh my god, the, okay, the soundtrack of this is phenomenal. Take down the Pumperdor, guys. Okay. 
Thank you. Now the Pumperdor guys. Not the most useful class in the game, but they do have a um, pretty strong kick which can send enemy flying. That can be useful. I will um, try to recruit at least one enemy of every class so, so I can show what they can do. Also, I, 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 I do like how when they're finished they just pull up their pompadour and like, Oh yeah, my hairdo is awesome. Very nice. This will be especially helpful when um, recruiting enemies. Also, a Sabu Sakura right over here. That's the second one. Awesome. <laughs> and all right. I'm gonna try and take these guys out real quick. Um. This, because of the side scrolling fighter, that's gonna be many areas like this, which are, um, okay, I guess not like this, but I mean, many areas that are to be all enemies to advance. I do recommend you strike down as many enemies as you possibly can. Purely because you're gonna want that experience going forward. Just trust me on this. You'll wanna do this. Also, the more money you can get, the better. At the same time, you also ought to be careful because each time you go down, if you go down, you will lose half of your current money. Half of your current monies. <laughs> oh god. I are English. Me fell English? That's impossible. Alright. Uh, what am I? Doing? I did say I wanted to recruit at least one of every enemy type, so I better go after the chica here. I believe are just the standard school cool girls. There we go. Pretty good. Now, as for what these guys will do. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Uh, wherever they get the uh, sand from, they'll throw it in the face of the enemy and stun them. Kind of make you wonder where they get it from, but honestly, I don't think I want to know, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, there's. <laughs> okay. Just thinking about it is creepy. <laughs> you paluka. Each of them will say something different. How many? Okay. Each of them will say something different when you beat them, but. Normally I'm up to level 5 by the point I get here, but then again, I'd usually um, grind out enemies until I reach that level before I actually take it on. Excuse me! I'm getting comboed like nuts. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take the whip. This can be pretty handy because usually enemies that spawn in after you're done taking out the enemies here will have a weapon of some sort. Uh, no, I kind of want the experience. Alright, vending machine here. That's not very much help. Uh, I'm gonna help him right. Security. Maybe she's on break. Uh oh. Out of our 
way, Miss Suzu. Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha ha! You scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly. No way. Flies are easy to hurt. As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years. Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu. I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of this school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed. No one's smarter at school cool stuff than Ms. Suzu. Yeah, your ignorance is really showing there. Because if you were a scholar, you'd say no one's smarter at academics. But whatever. Ms. Suzu! She can be kind of annoying. She's kind of a she hulk, I guess you could say. Now, as far as boss fights go, they have. Three different fa phases. With each unit of health they have. Okay, this is one of her skills where she just jump and land on the random part of the ground. And not so necessarily random, but more so where she thinks you're gonna be going. Which is actually a smart tactic. But there's one move I wanna show here. And she's just not doing it for some reason. Come on, do that thing. She's just not going to do it, for some reason. Okay, typically you want to want to have her land on nothing. Because that will stun her for a bit. No, she's just... Do that one attack where she's just repetitively jumping high in the air. If he does land on you, you won't get the stun from that, unfortunately. This is that one attack! Well, she'll, um, charge at you like a football player. I was trying to redirect her into that pillar. Because if she does, does dash into that pillar, that will stun her out of the attack. Also, her attacks are getting a bit more aggressive. She's jumping three times before her son kicks in. Alright. And with that, we're done. I <laughs> I didn't even get hurt during the fight, and I was worried. You're embarrassing me! No, I think you're doing a good job yourself. You dweebs are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. Don't make us fight you again. You've got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Hey! Is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much. <laughs>
there is something we can do with this cool key. But I think I want to save that for next episode for, you know, to avoid any risk of this going over a half an hour due to my um, personal policy for my channel. But next time on Let's Play River City Girls, we'll see exactly what this cool key does for us. After I try to load that off screen, <laughs> that's how I do. See you guys then.